in this video tutorial i'm going to show you how to create process flow chart like this using a very simple and free to use software called libreoffice draw as you all know libreoffice is an alternative to microsoft office if you don't have money or you don't you cannot afford to pay for the microsoft 365 libreoffice is a very good alternative that you can find free of charge and it contains most of the features that you will have in Microsoft Office. So to get to LibreOffice, all you need to just to open your browser, type Google, and you can just go ahead and type in or search LibreOffice, just like so, and hit enter. And the first one, the free Office, LibreOffice alternative uh, software, you can see to just bring you to this platform. You can come to the download option over here. You can just go to the first one, LibreOffice. This is the latest version, version 7.5.5, and it's available for all the operating system from Mac OS to Linux to Windows. Depending on the operating system, 32-bit or 64-bit, you can always find the alternative. So you can go ahead and click on download to download. The installation is very easy. You can just go ahead and install it. Once you're done installing, you can come to your launch pad and just search for LibreOffice and you see it over here. So you can just click to open. Now you have series of programs that you can work with. You have the writer, just like the Microsoft Word uh, alternative. You have the calculate spreadsheet, just like the Microsoft Excel. And we have the impress presentation, just like the PowerPoint. And then we have draw, math formula, and base database. These are for drawing, uh, writing equations, and for creating databases. And for this tutorial, we're going to focus on draw drawing. This is the one we are going to talk about. This is the one we are going to use. This is the one we are going to use to create our process flow chart. Now, this is the flow chart I'm interested. Let me paste it here. This is it, containing a starting point or RM receipt, and then down to this point there are some decision points which i'm going to show you how to get them and then the entire process flow chart you can see is colored and it contains some texting signifying some stages uh, across the process so to create this recreate this let's start with a fresh page we can right click anywhere and say create a, new, a fresh page and we can draw our thing here so you can see to your left that you have all the needed features to create your drawings from the shapes, basic shapes to even if you have you need emojis or different kind of shapes that look like emojis. You can see different types of arrows and you have different types of linking tools over here in case if you want to connect points or you have different kind of arrows. If you want to use arrows or other basic shapes, you can find them over here. So let's see through. At the beginning, we have this circle, okay, this oval shape, and it's at the, uh, the starting point. We have it like five, so we can just go ahead, come to our page, come over here. We can select anything, maybe from this one, and we can just start, okay. So you can see we just created it with just one click. And anything you create, you can see the properties over here. You can decide to change the coloration. This is the field color. This is the line option coloration. You can change the line color and so on. And if you want to add effects and shadows, you can go ahead and add. And you can move the shape um, using, using this across X, Y. And you can play around with the width and height accordingly. So let's say at this point, the color here is, is green. So you can check on green, light green, something like this. You can just select this. And if you want to add any text, you can just double click. You'll be able to add your text directly you can see it so you can select highlight all and you can play around with the text editing features as well from here from the font size font style to font sizes okay so you can just uh, play around with different font sizes, and you can bold italize on the line you can play around with the text coloration as well the, the and the and the outline coloration you can change all this across and you can change the alignment and so on so it's just like the way you have the normal text editing features in other platforms. So right now we have created this. Later we'll put in the details of the text in detail for all. So the next one is we have this um, rectangle and then the decision making. So we come back and we go back to the same shape. Rectangle, we need a rectangle here. And then we have to have a decision point. So decision is made with something like this. So we just use it to draw a decision point. You can always move them across in case if you want to, if you need to move with that with your keyboard or with your mouse pointer directly. And then you have the next one is 
this triangle and then this square and then this decision so we need to have a triangle here something like this and then we can have another decision copy and paste and then we can have it down here and then we can have these two rectangles to this side and then decision so you can come back here copy and paste as well copy and paste apparently you can move it you can go back again copy and paste and then you can move this as well here so you have these ones and then you can move you have a decision here and this circle this oval shape so you can have um, decision you come back here copy the decision and, and paste and then you bring it here and then we have this circular so you can always copy and paste and move things around very easy you can see you can make this a little bit bigger a little bit thicker next is we have this one as well it's a circular and then this one also to the left a circular one so you can come back here we just copy this copy and paste and then we can move it to the side here and then we can copy and paste this one as well and then move it to the top here around this decision point so you can check around again and you can see we have this text this this shape and this one uh, distributed this is three in number so we can come back to this let's check if we have it here we can see it from here we can check like this one and then we can have one here all right so we can just make it a bit smaller one here and we can copy this one we have one here and one at the end of this circle so we have one here copy and paste we have one here and then copy and paste we have one here as well okay so later we're going to rearrange them so it fills up everything and stay put now i think we've finished with the different boxes so i think we have two down here so we can select copy this two this one copy and paste okay and we can bring it down here and then we can do the same copy and paste and we can bring this one here so all we need now left is to create the arrows and connect all of them so we have these arrows coming down to this so you can come down uh, go back to the arrows you can just create select the dots and you can connect easily across so you can copy and paste also with the arrows you can move them you can move copy and paste can move them down to the next one and you can centralize them with the keyboard if you're interested and select and centralize select this one and move it so we can move this as well and then we can copy and paste the arrow all right so this is the st straight down arrows let's now put the side ones this one moves to the side all right so we can have to bring this one down a little bit so we can connect we can do that manually on our own or we can copy and paste this one and then you can bring it down and then we can move it from this side you can change the direction just like so if you like you can extend the the arrow okay you can make it longer if you want you can see and then this one now comes in here and let's move this one a little bit let's move this one also a little bit okay so next is we have this and then we have this arrow decision arrow to this one and then we have another one coming from this one so we can go ahead come over here select the arrow and then go back to our drawing you can give the arrow this one coming from here okay from this one it's this direction so you can select this copy and paste and then we can move from here point it here and then we can extend it to this point uh, let's see is it pointing directly to this or to the this a rectangle here okay so there's supposed to be a rectangle here so we are going to select all this we can select okay drag and select everything all of these guys we can select all of them and we can move them down all right so we'll move them down and then we'll create this rectangle so we we'll copy and paste this one we can move the rectangle here 
So we know this one, I'll select this, and then we can bring it down so it just coincides with the rectangle. Okay, and then we can move this down also a little bit more. So we can have our arrows selected, copy and paste, move here. Okay, so we can rearrange this. All right, so this one comes in here. And then we have this arrow. This one goes up, up. So you can come back and select this. Copy and paste and then move. Change direction to face up. And then we can move. So this one also comes down. So there's an arrow that goes here. So you can copy this. Copy and paste. Move it. And make it shorter a little bit. All right, so I think this is okay. Then we have this one. Okay, everything is set here. So we have these horizontal ones. We have this one and by this side. Okay, we have this one by this side. Then we write the text. Put in the colors for all the shapes. Okay, so let's put this bigger flow chart. This, this shape, this one. So let's put it by coming back. And then we'll come to shape. Use this one. We can use this. So you can click to use... Um, let's use this one. Okay, so let's have it here. And then we can position it. This is just like the title shape. So next thing is let's try to put the coloration on all of them. All these circles, um, oval shapes, one, two, three, four, five, all of them are green. So we can come back, select each one of them. Select, come over here to the fill color and make it green. You can equally select and use the format painter tool and select on each one. Select this one, format painter tool, and then this one. Same way, format painter tool, and on this. Next is we have the triangles. The triangles are um, this blue color, so we can select like this blue. And we can use the fill color while selecting this and make this one blue as well. And you can see we are done with this. And then we have this pink, this orange color on the decision points. So let's select. The decision points and make them this orange okay so we can use the format painter tool as well to make it here same format painter tool and make it here as well so you can see we've gotten almost everything except that these comment sections are white so we can select make it white in color and then we can use the same format painter tool to apply to the other ones. So the same way, format painter tool, and back here. Same way, format painter tool, same on this, same format painter tool, and same on this. So we have now officially painted all of them, except for this one that is yellow in color. We can select and make it yellow in color. All right, so I think we've virtually gotten everything. So the next one is to put in the text on all of them. And this one also. So what's this flow, process flow chart? So this one is RM receipt, inspection, RM receipt. We can select. We have receiving inspection reports. Then we have this one. Send to supplier material. Okay, and then we have this one.
All right, so you can see now we reached this point. So the last step would be to group everything because right now they can move individually. You can see you can select this and you can see we are moving it individually. So we can undo this and we can select everything with Control A to make sure we select everything. And then we can come over and right click anywhere. You can come to group and now everything is grouped. When you want to move it, it's going to move together. So let's readjust the position. You can see they are moving together so this is it so the last thing you can do is to export you can come to a file over here then you can come to export and define the location and define location here press flow chart and then you can select the format usually i go for png and you can give it a name then just go ahead and save you can allow everything to be a default and then you can save directly and everything is saved you can come back to the location for example, in my own case, I'm working here and you can see it over here. So this is the final product. You can copy it and paste it anywhere, maybe within your Microsoft Word document. Copy here. If you're working in your Microsoft Word document, you can just select and paste it. And you can see you have your process flow chart uh, completely designed by LibreOffice. If you like, you can select and you can give it border if you want from here. You can select and maybe give it a border color. I think something like this is cool. I still give it another different border if um, that's what you want. I think this is okay on this. I think this nature is okay. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how to design your flowchart, process flowchart using LibreOffice and even import it into your Microsoft Word document and continue with your work. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.